Hey everybody, it's Brad again, and uh, this time I've got another new software from Floriani to talk to you about. Uh, this one is called Floriani Lettering Master, and it does a very neat trick, and I'll get to that. Uh, but basically this is a lettering program, so um, it has all the ability to create uh, lettering designs and monograms, and combine embroidery designs with uh, with with lettering. Um, it's uh, it, it's pretty good as far as uh, lettering programs go. It's essentially the lettering aspect of Floriani Total Control. Um, but there is a really neat trick that you can do with this. So uh, let me uh, create a new design here and show you some of the stuff you can do. So we'll hit create a new design. And uh, of course, anyone with uh, passing familiarity with Floriani programs will uh, get the layout right away. We've got our properties menu, our sequence view, some tools on the toolbar on the left and some tools on the toolbar at the top. Um, if we hit the capital letter T here, and click somewhere in the design field, then it will bring in a, um, a text design. Uh, it uses whatever the last font that you looked at. Um, and uh, we can hit this little, this little downward facing arrow to look at a whole list of fonts that we have to choose from. Uh, and if we hit apply, it'll apply that font to the text in the text field. By default, the text is my text and we can type in anything we want and hit apply and it will bring our letters into uh, the design field. Um, so it's a lettering program basically, right? Um, one of the things about lettering programs though uh, is that you can be looking through these fonts and even though there's like a hundred some of them there isn't the one specific font that you are looking for. So that is where the neat trick that this program does comes in. Okay, so I can scroll through these and say, okay, well, yeah, no, this one doesn't do it for me, or I'm looking through and yeah, no, this one doesn't do it for me. So if you notice, uh, if, if, uh, if you're coming from Total Control U, um, you may you may think well wait a minute but we could bring in a true type font and you can do that in Total Control U but when you do it doesn't always look right when you go to sew it out because the the designs are all auto digitized um, and uh, this lets you create your own font from a true type font and gives you the option to fix any errors that are that are introduced. Uh, and then once you do that, it shows up as a regular embroidery font in, in this list. In fact, uh, this one that I was on is one that I imported. What was it called? Uh, vintages. There we go. So this is a font that I actually created uh, and is now one of the optional fonts, uh, or is now one of the fonts that's built into this. Not only that, but with the advent of the new uh, asset import feature in Floriani Total Control U, any font that you create in this program can be added to your Floriani Total Control U program, which is awesome. So where are we going to get extra fonts um, so that we have, you know, lettering options that we want to use? Well, if you're doing it just for personal use, um, then there is a website that I can direct you to. It's dafont.com. Okay, so this website here has a ton of fonts. Now, if you're going to use these commercially, you shouldn't uh, without paying uh, the, the creator of the font um, uh, a licensing fee. Uh, but if you're using them for personal use, most of these fonts are licensed for personal use. So if you're just making a shirt for, for somebody, then uh, you know you can you can use these all you want. So when you go to Defont, we've got these different categories. Okay, so we've got cartoon, comic, etc. If I click on cartoon, we see that these are all kind of cartoony type um, you know fonts. Um, and not all fonts are created equal for turning into stitches. What works best is narrow fonts that don't have um, any like this, where this has these little lines in it. You know, this would be very challenging to turn into a, a embroidery font, whereas uh, something like this blueberry would probably be a little easier. Um, now, I have a favorite font that I use um, a lot 
uh, in in various times when you can use true type fonts. Um, and that is one that is called Champagne and Limousine. So that's the one I'm going to look for. I think it's in, uh, I don't remember what category it's in, but uh, I know the name of it. So I'm just going to search for it in here. But to find ones you know that you want, you look for a category, say Western or Curly or whatever, and you find one that interests you and you can try this same thing. Uh, but I'm going to use this one because I want this font on my computer. So we're going to do Champagne... I'm just going to search for champagne. Uh, and here it is right here, this font right here, uh, champagne and limousines. And so the way this works, you find the font that you want. In this case, it's this one. You left click on the download button and it'll just download your, um, your design. Now, if you're using Chrome like me, it'll be down at the bottom. If you're using Firefox, it'll be a little icon up here at the top uh, right hand corner. And if you're using Internet Explorer, it should be somewhere down on the bottom where you can tell it. It'll ask you whether you want to open or save the design. Tell it you want to open it. And so I'm going to open this file that just downloaded. Just left click on it here. And we've got the contents of the zipped file that was downloaded. And what you'll see is one or more true type fonts. Um, uh, so this one is the main one, and then down here we can see this is bold, bold italic, and italic. I'm going to do just the base regular one, okay? You double click it, all right? Let me resize this window so you can see it. And then you'll get this interface. Now this shows you all of the characters that are existing in this font. And we're just going to left click on install. Now this will work pretty much the same way whether you're using Windows 7 or Windows 10. So, uh, you know, it may look a little bit different uh, here or there, but now this font is installed on my computer, uh, which means it can be imported into the Lettering Master program. Um, so here's how we go about importing the font. We go up to this T in a box here. We're going to left click on that. And this interface comes up where um, we can create the font. So we want to choose this option here, add characters from TTF. Anytime you see TTF uh, in a computer uh, context, it is pretty much always going to mean true type font. We're going to left click on that. Uh, and this is a wizard. So uh, we just basically are going to hit next here. Uh, and this is where we choose our font. Okay, so right now the font, the default font is Arial. And we're going to left click on the little arrow and go down and choose our new font that we downloaded, Champagne and Limousines. And we can see that it's got a little sample of it here. And if we want to type in a different word to see exactly what it's going to look like, we can do that. Uh, so we've got this. Uh, we're going to hit Next. And here is where we select which characters we want to import. So I only want pretty much the symbols, the numbers, uppercase and lowercase. I don't need any of this other stuff down here, the accents and all that. So I am going to select first the first design that I want. I don't want to select all. Uh, I'm just going to go down and find the last character that I want, which is the lowercase z. I'm going to hold down my shift key and left click on that and that selects everything from the first one to the last one then we just hit next okay so we don't hit any of this stuff we just hit next now we're going to make sure that the check marks are next to all three of these which they will be by default and you're going to left click on finish it's now digitizing all of the characters from this and it will shortly show us a map of every character that is digitized for this font. Okay, so here we go. We've got all these different characters in here. And what we can do is look at them to see whether they have been digitized properly. Now, you kind of get over time uh, an idea for the kinds of letters that software will have problems digitizing. And one of the problem letters is always going to be your capital letter A. Um, for some reason, digitizing programs like this one don't tend to do capital letter A's correctly. So let's go ahead and take a look at that first. I'm going to left click on it and then right click it, choose edit character. And this will bring it up and I can see that it did not do my capital letter A properly. What it's doing is it's trying to put a satin stitch in this area. And then there's branching here and you can see the stitch direction is going the same way and that is just not going to work. You can't have a, uh, a stitch direction going two ways at once. So it gets confused and it tries to, uh, to do it and makes a big mess. So what do we do? Well, they've given us some pretty handy editing options in here that are straight out of uh, Floriani Total Control. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and select the stitch 
in the sequence view, which so selects this. And then we're going to hit the shape tool over here. We're going to hit actually we're going to hit the little arrow underneath of the shape tool. And you see this little orange barbell looking thing? That is our split line tool. We're going to left click on that. And what we need to do is split off this little bridge from the two sides. So we left click and drag on one. And we left click and drag on the other corner. And they kind of want to snap to the corner. So that's convenient. It, it's easy to get them to go perfectly on the corner because that's where they want to go. And then once we do that, we're going to right click with the mouse and right click again and boom there we go we've got our capital letter a is uh, is back in business now if something else wasn't right about it like say the stitch direction was all wonky in one place or another we can at this point move these stitch direction lines uh, they're called inclinations is the name of them and actually um, I would probably do that down here this I don't really like the way this is coming out at the end see how this kinda is trying to curve out to the end here. We can go in and put in another inclination line or we can drag an existing inclination line down. So I'm just left clicking and dragging and putting this inclination line down here and watch what happens when I right click. See how that kind of fixed the way that the end of that line was? And if I need to add a new inclination line, I do it over here. I hit that little uh, arrow underneath again and this time I choose the one in the mi in the middle. Uh, that's, uh, if you hover over it, it'll tell you it's add inclination and now I can uh, left click and drag an additional inclination into a place if I feel that I need to. Now there was no need to put that one in, I was just doing it to demonstrate it. Uh, but uh, what we do to get this saved in our font is we just left click on the X right here where it says font 2A, we're going to left click on that and when it asks if we want to save changes we say yes. Now that A is saved in here and that is all set. So we can go in and look at each of these letters um, to see whether or not they digitize right. Now this B looks wonderful, so we're just going to close it out and we can go through each one and uh, and see whether they work. But I will tell you that the ones you're going to have problems with in general will be the letter A, the letter H, which let's take a look at the letter H here and it did it perfectly, wonderful, uh, and the letter T. So we go look at that edit that one and that one looks perfect already and the lowercase letter T and K is also often a problem so let's take a look at K and look at that it did a beautiful job so most of the time it will actually do a good job it's just every now and again and our T even the cross is even in the right position uh, put this in there we see how the cross goes over the line love that when you do it in um, the auto digitizing in Floriani, it always puts the, the cross under the longer line, and I hate that. But anyway, so you go through and look at all of them. Um, I actually know that the rest of this font does uh, does digitize right, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, there's one other thing that we want to do, and that is to uh, set the kerning. Uh, and we can import the kerning settings from the TrueType font itself. And uh, so we're going to hit this icon here, Import TTF Kerning, and we're going to choose the... Um, same font, champagne and limousines, and hit OK. There we go. Now our kerning is set. And what, what's kerning? Kerning is the spacing between the, the letters and uh, that kind of thing. So uh, because we're using a true type font, that true type font has kerning information already built into it that tells the computer where to place the um, uh, each letter relative to one another. So super handy that it lets us do that. And at this point, all we got to do is hit the save font icon here. It looks like a little floppy disk. Left click on that. Uh, we're going to name it, uh, I'm just going to name it Champagne and Limousines. And hit save. That's it. That's done. We can close out the font creator. And now, when I use my text tool, I can left click somewhere in the design field. And then go, I will uh, scroll up here and find that we now have Champagne and Limousines as a font option. Awesome. So uh, super happy about that ability that we have here. I can go in and type in uh, whatever words I want and hit apply. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Spaced perfectly. Uh, it's going to sew out wonderfully. Um, I can scale it up and down. Um, just really, really nice. Super happy about this. Now, 
For those of you who already have Floriani Total Control U, which is probably most of you, there is an awesome bonus. And that is that if you purchase this software and have it activated on your computer alongside a copy of Floriani Total Control U, you don't even have to use the software to use the software. You don't have to have two separate programs running. As long as you have Floriani Lettering Master installed and activated on your computer, your Floriani Total Control U also has that exact same feature. So you can do it all in one program. Um, so that is really, really nifty. And I, I didn't know that uh, actually when I started making this video, I had to, <laughs> I had to stop and go back and, uh, and put that in because I, uh, I didn't realize that it did that. Uh, but here we can do that exact same thing right in Total Control U. We can bring in um, a, a font from the computer uh, and have it auto digitize it for us exactly the same way. Uh, so that is super, super neat because it's kind of annoying having to go through a few different programs. So if you have Total Control U already, then guess what? You can just do it through Floriani Total Control U. And if you were to, say, have Floriani Lettering Master and then later decide you want to purchase Floriani Total Control U, you can import the assets for the... Uh, you can import the, the fonts that you create as assets into Floriani. So we can actually go in and uh, go up to tools and export fonts and choose what font we want to export. Uh, say we want to have all of these fonts exported. Um, so, so, you know, over the time that we've had just Lettering Master, we made this many fonts. We can take these and export them and then import that asset file into my Floriani. Uh, so I could go and uh, go to Floriani here, go to tools and import assets, choose that new asset file, uh, tell it to overwrite existing because I think I already have one of those in there and say okay. Now all those fonts from my lettering master program are there in Total Control U. So even if you start with Lettering Master and then later upgrade to Total Control U, um, it is, uh, you're able to send your fonts that you've created over to the, to the main digitizing program. So that is super, super neat. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.